there everyone in this video we're going to do a really easy diamond pattern and um, you're going to be surprised how fast that one goes so let's go ahead and get to it okay i have a 12 inch by 12 inch canvas at 300 dpi which translates out to 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels and the first thing i'm going to do is come over to my wrench and turn on my drawing guide so i can draw my diamond and i'm going to edit the drawing guide so that it's 600 pixels which gives me a nice six by six grid and that looks pretty good so i'm going to go ahead and tap done the next thing i'm going to do is come over to my selection tool and i want to make sure that color fill is on and freehand is on and uh and if it's gray that means that the color fill isn't uh, enabled so we want to make it blue by pressing it okay and then i'm just going to sort of drag this over and then i'm going to start here where these where the halfway line is so there's three cubes over and then one cube down and i'm just going to tap there and then i'm going to come down two cubes and over one actually that didn't do a very good job so we're just going to double tap and come back in here and try to get right in that intersection there and same thing here we want it right on that intersection and same there and then back up all right that looks like a pretty good diamond so i'm going to go ahead and tap my selection tool to close it okay now the next thing i want to do is actually make it the right size so i'm going to come over to my transform tool and i have uh, snapping on with a distance of three and the distance of three is just a default but I want snapping rather than magnetics um, for this particular shape and getting it lined up and everything all right and the other thing I have is uniform so I'm going to grab one of these little blue dots on the corner here and just drag this until I see the gold line here on the bottom whoops there we go and I'm going to do the same thing over here until I see the gold yep there we go and now I'm going to center it all and I want to see gold lines transecting in the center there we go awesome okay now let's go over to our um, layers here and we're going to create a duplicate of this one and then we're going to cut that in half so we're going back over to our selection tool this time we want color fill turned off and i'm going to select rectangle and then from outside of the canvas i'm going to start drawing and i'm going to draw a rectangle that cuts this diamond right in half just like that then i take three fingers to invoke and drag down and invoke the copy and paste menu and then i'm going to cut and paste and that'll pay, uh, take half of that uh, diamond and paste it on a new layer which is what i want okay now i'm going to go back over to our layers and we're going to go with the one this top selection here and we're going to go ahead and tap our transform tool again and we're going to just move this all the way over until we see the gold line on the edge and let's see right there in the center perfect okay now we're going to go to the bottom that the, the second one down and do the same thing okay and i'm really looking for the gold line on the edge and in the center uh, because i suspect that i didn't cut it quite right but that's okay because these will line up together the way they're supposed to because it's been cut in half so that's great once we've got that where we want it we can just go ahead and tap our transform tool there to close it all right um now it looks like i might need to move my center diamond here so that the edges look a little bit more uniform here so let's go ahead and do that we're going to go back down to that bottom first layer there and select the transform tool and we're just going to kind of nudge it so we're just going to tap over here to get it into position just so that it looks a little bit better all right once it's all like like you'd like it for your seamless tile it's time to make a texture brush and you can make a texture brush on your own there's a video that i will link at the end of the this video uh, that shows you how to do that or you can cheat a little bit and go with a brush that is available to you for free from my site and i will leave a link in the description below from the essential packs of 2022 and there's the the set that's called essential starts so i select that and then there's a texture starter and i'm just going to gently slide that over and duplicate it and then we're just going to make it right there so before we're ready to actually make our brush though we need the image for our brush so we have everything right here what we're going to do is go over to our wrench and select add and then copy canvas and then we're going to go back over to our brushes and that copy of the texture starter we tap it and then this will tell you whether it's shape or grain in this case grain that needs to be replaced and then you just tap edit import and paste and wherever it's white it will be uh colored filled for, with your uh with your stamp outside or your texture brush outside so this looks pretty good we're gonna go ahead and tap done 
and done. And now let's go ahead and test out our pattern and see if it is truly seamless like we want it to be. All right, we're gonna go ahead and dial, dial that up. Whoops. Let's go ahead and give, let's see, I'm gonna create a couple new layers here. Let's create like a red, or actually I like that purpley color. Let's put that in the background. Let's turn off our uh, drawing guide here too. And then create another layer on top of that. And let's see, what color do we wanna make it something really bright? Like this yellow there, that, that looks kinda of cool. All right, and now let's go ahead and let's see how big, probably somewhere around 56% for a test here. So and we're just gonna go ahead and draw in our texture and it looks pretty good to me so i think i think we're good to go all right like i said if you're interested in uh learning how to make a texture brush from a uh, seamless tile then check out this video here on the left and if you'd just like to know more about making uh, patterns in general like the tiles here then check out this video here to, or actually this playlist here on the right meanwhile i hope that your day is amazing